Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to deposit and store your Cardano or your ADA tokens in the official Daedalus wallet. So let's get started. Okay, so there's a lot of buzz around Cardano right now and their new incentivized test network where you can earn real rewards. And then there's also uh, going to be their mainnet where you'll be able to stake your Cardano as well. So it will behoove you to learn how to download and install the Daedalus wallet and store your Cardano tokens in this wallet. So I'm going to go through briefly how to install the wallet and then I'm going to show you how to deposit your Cardano into this wallet so that you can be eligible for these staking rewards. All right, so uh, here's the Incentivize Testnet website. I'll put that link in the description. They've already done a balance check for the testing, but I'm hearing some conflicting information about uh, that they're going to have another snapshot, um, maybe for the testing network, maybe not. Uh, but definitely, if you don't have your Cardano stored in the Daedalus wallet, you probably want to learn how to do that. All right, so uh, let's go over to the homepage for Cardano and hit Get Started. We'll go over here to the Daedalus wallet. And you can click, there's a little tutorial here about what it is and how it works. You'll go to the Daedalus homepage and click Download. And depending on which platform you're on, you'll want to hit Download Daedalus. And uh, you can just drop that in your Downloads folder if you want to. Now, uh, once it's downloaded to your uh, download folder, you can uh, install it and get started right away. If you want to go through some of these verification procedures, I'll briefly show you how to do that. They provide a SHA-256 checksum right here. Uh, that is a cryptographic hash that they generated uh, on that installer on their end. So basically you want to do the same thing on your end and make sure that the results match. I have a SHA sum checker that I uh, install on my computer, the MD5 and uh, SHA checksum utility, which I really like. There are other ways to check SHAs. You can, there are some online SHA checkers. There's a Microsoft Shawsum. There's an online Shawsum checker, which works pretty well as well, uh, pretty easy. So I'll go ahead and use this online one. So you basically just uh, choose your file, which would be that uh, installer that we just downloaded, right? And then you choose the Shawsum type. In this case, we want a SHA-256. And then we'll want to compare that to the one that they gave us, right, down here. We'll just paste it in there and hit compare. Right, and you get a little check mark and you know that the SHA sum matches and you've got a good copy of the uh, installer file. Now, if you want to go a little deeper, there are some other things that you can do. Uh, they give you some, you'll want to download their PGP signature and you want to make sure that you drop that in the same folder that you drop the installer in so that they're next to each other and then they give you some detailed instructions here they're going to ask you to go over to the gpg for windows and download this software all right so you just click download here uh, you can donate to them i encourage you to do that you can also choose zero if you want to just uh, skip straight to the download and uh, get this software installed you can also verify this installer uh, by checking integrity. They've got their uh, SHA sums that you can check. So you can't really do the uh, full check because you've never, if you've never used this software before. So the best you can do is uh, check the sh uh, checksum. So uh, this is the one that we want. It's GPG for Win 3.0. It's the same one that we just downloaded. So that's our SHA. Uh, we can go over here and we'll do choose file again. And this time we'll choose that GPG uh, for Windows installer. And this was the old one that we had in there for uh, Daedalus. Let's paste in the one that we copied off the GPG for Windows. Hit compare and we get that plus. 
So we know that we got a good copy of the uh, verification software. All right, so now we can go ahead and get that installed. Go ahead and install everything here. All right, and then you're going to need to uh, reboot your computer. All right, so I went ahead and did my reboot, and now we're ready to continue. Now, they're going to give us some very specific instructions on how we go about getting this uh, verification all set up. But if you want to do that, let's go over here to verify instructions. We did the installation of the software. Now we want to create a key pair. We're going to launch Cleopatra. All right, now I've already uh, got quite a few things in here already, including my own key. Uh, but if it's the first time you've launched it, you'll probably be prompted to create a key. If not, you can just go to File, New Key Pair, and you'll create your own personal key. You'll give it a name and an email, and then a password. Once you've finished that, you'll have your own key pair here. It's just name, email, and password. Very simple. All right, and then uh, after we've got that set up, they give us instructions on looking up their server. So uh, it's right here. We'll just copy that into our clipboard. That's the IOHK signing authority. We'll just go to uh, File, Lookup Server, and paste that in. and it's gonna search for the IOHK uh, signing authority. Once it finds it, it's gonna give you the opportunity to bring it in, uh, and it'll, it will be listed here. You'll uh, wanna go ahead and import the key, and then it'll be in your list here. And uh, you can right click on that IOHK signing authority here and go to details, right? And then check that fingerprint right here and make sure it matches this one here that they're giving you on the website, right? That just makes sure that you've downloaded a good copy of that uh, signing key. And once you've done that, you can right click on the signing authority key and choose certify. And then it just confirm that you double check that fingerprint. Click next and certify. And then you're done. All right. And now you're going to use Cleopatra to do the verification now that you've got a certified signing key. So uh, we're just going to go to uh, Decrypt Verify. And then we'll go over to our Downloads folder and just choose the Daedalus installer. And make sure that that uh, signing file is right next to it or in the same directory. And we'll choose Open. It's going to go through a cryptographic function here. Right, and you should get this nice green indicator that you've got a good copy of the installer. All right, so it's a little technical. You may not want to go through all this, but uh, it's best practice. All right, so now that we've done all of that, we can go ahead and install the wallet itself. Let's go back over here to our downloads, double click the installer, right, and get that set up. And once you've got that, you can go ahead and put that in your uh, taskbar if you want. I've already got mine. All right, and now you're ready to run the wallet for the first time. So just go ahead and launch that wallet. Now, the first time you run this, it's going to take quite a while for it to sync up to the Cardano blockchain. Maybe all day long, like 12 hours or longer. Who knows? So be patient, okay? So now that I've got this wallet uh, up and running, uh, I can st uh, start depositing some of my ADA in here. All right, now if it's the first time you've launched this, you have no wallets, it will most likely uh, prompt you to create a wallet, right? You'll wanna create a wallet, give it a name, all right? You'll wanna give it a password too. You can disable that if you don't wanna give it a password, but I would recommend that you do. And uh, this is the backup phrase, right? They're gonna give you a 12 word recovery backup phrase. All right, and there it is right there. And you wanna make sure that you've written this down. You can restore the wallet using this backup phrase, right? And if anyone sees it, they can restore it on their computer. So you wanna make sure that you keep this secret. 
you get it written down and double check that it's written down correctly and store it in a safe place. All right, and then it's gonna want you to verify uh, each word in the correct order. Of course, mine are in the wrong order, but once you've done that, uh, this will be active and you'll be able to confirm that you've got the right recovery phrase. And you'll have your wallet set up. I'm not gonna do it because I've already got mine set up. All right, so uh, this, uh, I've got, as you can see, you can have multiple wallets with uh, multiple balances, right? I'm gonna go ahead and use the demo wallet for today so that you can see how you make a deposit. So let's go over to my uh, cryptocurrency account that has some ADA. Now I'm on the Binance US uh, website. Uh, has, it's my cryptocurrency exchange and I already have some ADA. I'm assuming you guys know how to buy your ADA uh, or you probably wouldn't be here. But it's pretty straightforward. You just do a trade and use uh, US dollars or Bitcoin or whatever you need to, to purchase some ADA. You can see I've got 2780 there. So what we're gonna do is uh, withdraw. Now it wants the ADA receiving address. So let's go back over to our Daedalus wallet and I'm gonna do a receive here in my demo wallet and they're gonna give us a, uh, an address, right? You can generate as many addresses as you want. It's probably best practice to generate a new address for each transaction increases security and privacy All right and there we go I've got a brand new address I'll hit copy and we'll go back over here to our cryptocurrency exchange paste in that uh, ADA address and then I'm gonna click uh, send entire balance you might want to send a small amount just to double check this uh, if it's your first time ever doing this I wouldn't recommend uh, transferring the full amount right away. Always do a small transaction just to double check. We'll hit submit here. Uh, put in our Google Authenticator code. All right, and then Binance US is gonna send me uh, an email to verify. All right, you'll hit confirm withdrawal on that. And then you can go to your history to double check. You'll make sure that you're uh, not in deposit, that you're in withdrawal and you're on crypto here, and you can see that that ADA is processing the withdrawal. And then you can just go over to your wallet summary and just wait for that transaction to come in. All right, and you can see down here that I've received the ADA into my wallet and my balance has adjusted. So that's it. Uh, pretty straightforward to make a withdrawal once you get the wallet set up. So the wallet is a little bit tricky. So it's up to you. If you want to just download the installer and install the wallet uh, and get your uh, wallet set up, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but best practice is to do the full verification. Uh, if, if it's too technical, then maybe just do the SHA sum check at the very least. Uh, and then if you're rigorous like me, go ahead and get the full uh, cryptographic uh, verification. All right. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments. I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out your questions directly and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.